What's up everybody? Uh, my name is Jay and I am glad to welcome you uh, finally in another of my Adobe Illustrator tutorials. So uh, let's get started. Today I have prepared again uh, a 3D logo design uh, that you can see here. Uh, I already made a few versions so uh, I can present you all this uh, smoothly and uh, uh, in a in a in a best way so you you can uh, you can follow me well uh, I also have some elements here that I will be using later uh, so there are there are these are pre-made elements so to begin uh, I will start uh, everything uh, with a circle you hit L on your keyboard and uh, draw a circle it doesn't matter what color, it can be gray. And uh, since uh, you know that uh, I, we could use the the pen tool to draw uh, some paths, but today I want to show you uh, a different method. Uh, on the on the short on the shortcuts uh, key, keyboard shortcuts panel, uh, I've set the the knife tool to be C. So when I hit the C key on my keyboard, uh, the knife the knife tool shows up. Uh, with it, uh, we can cut up uh, this this circle in in parts. So uh, watch closely. And uh, this is it. I'll just delete these uh, middle parts here. Uh, this uh, shape uh, might need uh, some repair, but I'm pretty satisfied with how it it came out. This is pretty. This is this is very good. Uh, second thing, uh, I'll just uh, make these uh, these edges a bit a bit smoother. So I added two points here, and. Uh, I'll make this the, the third point here uh, a smooth point. So I'm gonna do the same here. So yeah, so we just get a nice uh, nice transition. Uh, no sharp edges uh, are desired. Yeah. Uh, this should be it. For the next part, uh, what I will do, uh, listen closely because uh, I will only uh, repeat this once. Uh, for this shape and the, for two, these two shapes, uh, I'm just uh, gonna do it. I won't uh, uh, speak, so uh, I will just copy Control C, Control F, to copy to make a duplicate of this shape, and uh, I'll flip this uh, horizontally and. Uh, I'm gonna hit Control X and bring it to bring it the the back. So Control B, and uh, I'll make it just a little bit darker. So this shape needs 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 a bit attention. So I'll just move it here to the edge. Yeah, it looks looks pretty nice. And uh, I'm just quickly do, gonna do this uh, the same process with this one too. Uh, I just might need to rotate this a bit and move a bit, change its color so we can see him better. Uh, that's okay. And for this middle part, I'm just quickly gonna draw some kind of shape here. Doesn't really matter. Uh, it's not as accurate as uh, in my previous tutorials where I where I did uh, the those company logos if you can remember the Xbox or the, the Cinema 4D logo uh, you can really use your imagination here as much as you want so we are we are done just let me make this transition a bit more smoother yeah and here too 
me delete this fella. Here too. Just make it smooth. Yeah, that, that, that looks uh, very good. I'm satisfied with it. Uh, for our next part, I will pick this uh, top part, paths here and uh, give it uh, this green gradient. Uh, actually, these two and uh, make them reverse. So I'll just uh, I'll just gain more more contrast here because uh, everything uh, to make it look 3D uh, you have to give it more contrast. Uh, it will look much much better. Trust me. This one too. And this one. Yeah, mess here. Uh, this looks fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, do you see this shadow here? Uh, I'm gonna show you how you can make this very very easy. So, uh, grab a basic white to black gradient, increase this right color uh, to like uh, almost white and make this uh, left color uh, opacity of uh, zero. Make a circle with this gradient uh, which by the way should be radial and reverse and squeeze it a bit like this and when you place it underneath this gives a very very nice shadow uh, like this uh, for, for our next part uh, uh, it's good to notice that um, uh, this this logo uh, this shape uh, could be a standalone logo for itself uh, I haven't been paying attention uh, like in this logo uh, uh, on the curves, uh, this shape should uh, use uh, a bit more toggling with it to make it uh, to make it look uh, more nicer. Yeah, uh, but uh, this shape uh, as itself uh, could be a could could be a logo, but only for this uh, tutorial to make it more prettier. I'm gonna draw uh, a sphere inside of uh, uh, our our existing shape. So I, I just made a circle which I will uh, decrease in size like this and I will give it uh, this gradient here. Uh, you can notice that we have a, a, a light color, a, a bit darker color and a, a, a bit darker and this is the darkest color and after the darkest color we have again a, a lighter color. Uh, what this will do, just let me show you this neat little trick it it gives a, a, a feel of roundness uh, to it uh, if we didn't have this color yeah you can agree that uh, it's looking better uh, now so I'm gonna hit ctrl X and uh, place it behind all these three shapes ctrl B uh, okay I'm gonna select all these and ctrl X and ctrl B and I'm going to group them, Control G. I'm going to group these top layers to Control G. Uh, what I can do next, again, repeat this process uh, with the gradient, white to black. Only you have to lose this uh, black color, make it white. And again, make it this opacity zero. I'll draw a circle, place it above. Control X, place it above this sphere move it a bit, make it larger, and uh, try to try to make something uh, like a, like a, a reflection that will look like this. And uh, we are almost at the end, uh, but I want to show you uh, one more thing. Uh, uh, you see this sphere? Uh, it's it has the feel that like it's inside uh, these uh, these green shapes. Uh, so uh, when something inside is inside, uh, it should have uh, like some uh, some reflections here. So uh, I'm 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 just gonna uh, make make exactly that. So uh, select this top shape, Control C. Actually, I'm gonna select both these, and Control C, and uh, I'm gonna go to. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say Control F, and then go to isolation mode. 
sorry about this. Uh, let me repeat this uh, step again. I'm gonna say Control C uh, only with this upper shape. Control C and Control F. Then go to the isolation mode. Then I will press the E key, hold Control and drag. this point downwards then I will control and copy this inner circle and with the shape builder tool uh, I'll I wanna I wanna uh, create only this uh, top top uh, top part here, uh, and if yeah, if I uh, switch this to the color bar and uh, make it a linear uh, gradient, uh, we can uh, we we can achieve that uh, feeling uh, of of of, uh, of a shadow. Uh, I'll do the same with this one here. Control C, Control F, isolate uh, E, drag it a bit. Copy this shape, select this one, uh, shape builder, remove this, remove this, remove this, remove this, and then control X and make it on top. Control F. Like this. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's looking very, very nice. Uh, I actually like it. Uh, and uh, for the last part, uh, we can we can just uh, make it more detailed uh, by adding uh, some kind of a, of a reflection here. Uh, so for this purpose, I'm I'm gonna take these uh, reflections from the logo I did uh, some while ago. You can you can watch this tutorial uh, also on my uh, my channel. And uh, place it here. Lower it a bit. And uh, I think we are almost there. Uh, one last thing. Uh, select uh, these top shapes. Go to path, offset path, say minus 5. And uh, pick this color here. Make the, make the gradients go, go from. Uh, from left to right, only only a slight uh, amount. Yeah, I just want to make this a bit bigger. And uh, actually, this is it. Uh, we are at the end, uh, guys. I really hope uh, that you have enjoyed the, this tutorial, and uh, <coughs> that you will show uh, uh, some kind of support uh, by clicking that like button or subscribing to my channel. Uh, again, I hope you liked uh, the tutorial and uh, see you again. Bye bye.